All right, guys, welcome back to this tutorial. In today's episode, we're basically going to just be fixing the uh, sill height dimensions, which I noticed were um, changed as we, in the last video, kind of eyeballed, um, you know, the the window elevation or the window sill height. We kind of moved it. We moved them all down, if you guys remember. And uh, since we were just eyeballing it, uh, we ended up with this uh, with this with these dimensions changing. So. We're going to go ahead and go over how to fix that or how to round those. Um, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and start placing in some light fixtures um, or some lighting elements like switches, the wiring, the actual ceiling lights themselves, and so on. Um, so let's go ahead and deal with this sill height first. So let's get into it. We're going to head over to Options, um, and then we're going to go to Project Preferences, and then Dimensions. Now. Before we actually do that, um, I wanted to recall you guys that uh, we created very early on in this tutorial series our own custom dimensions, and we're just going to check to see which ones are being used here in the floor plans. Um, so we're using the custom, or this is what we named it anyway, lowercase custom. Uh, and uh, there are some pre-built ones here that um, that we can choose that'll change the way that um, you know that some of these are displayed. But um, we're gonna keep the we're gonna keep the custom, and then we're gonna adjust our custom ones, okay? Just so that you guys can, you know, create your own or adjust them as you like. But this way, we're you know we're not adjusting any of the pre-built um, dimensions settings. So let's go ahead and head over to options again, and then we're gonna go to our dimensions, and then for custom, we want to adjust the sill height dimension, right? So only the sill height dimension. There's other dimensions here that we have for angles um, and uh, story levels and other things, elevations. And we want uh, to adjust the dimensions for the sill height. So that's going to be this one right over here. Um, so if you click on this icon, it'll give you a sample of what you currently have according to these settings, right? So this is kind of, and this is indeed what we we have or actually ours are being rounded to the or I guess it looks like it's the 16th inch but here it's uh, showing 164 164ths of an inch um, but anyway so what we can do to remove that is we're just going to go to feet and the units are going to stay feet in fractional inches and we're just going to move the fractions to none and then it'll update that sample here now we can see that it automatically created this custom dimension up here uh, but we have our own. So yours may or may not have that capital C. I believe we made it with a lowercase c. But um, I'm just going to hit store as, and then I'm going to name it with the lowercase c. Um, and it's just going to basically overwrite the other one. And we're going to hit override, or overwrite, sorry. And it's going to adjust them. Now, usually we like to keep these dimensions in uh, multiples of three, like, um, you know, zero inches, three inches. 6 inches, 9 inches, 12 inches, so on, um, or, um, you know, multiples of 4, so 0, 4, 8, or 12 inches, but um, th that's fine, it's not a big deal for this. Um, so now that we got that out of the way, um, we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> adjust, or start placing in some lighting objects. So we're going to head over to our lamp tool here, and then I'm just going to click, there's an arrow that comes up here, so if you just click on the right, um, it should you should get this uh, little side sidebar action um, pop up and then uh, we're going to select the lamp ceiling mounted you can select any of the other ones if you like um, although they may look a little bit different on the floor plan um, but usually when we're doing floor plans uh, we'll just stick to something simple um, if you're you know if you're doing 3d modeling you might want to you know use some of the other nicer ones uh, or you can even use this one and just adjust it change it to you know whatever you want to use um, so I, I'm seeing right now that I, I tried to left click it to uh, place it in this floor plan and it's saying that the layer is hidden so you can either choose a layer that's already turned on or you can choose to show this particular layer which is turned off now I would advise against doing that against uh, hitting show layer just because um, it'll show while you're working in the floor plan but let's say you access a different view um, and then you come back to this view you'll actually no longer see that 
lighting fixture or that lighting element that you just placed or whatever, whatever or actually whatever element it was um, in our case a lighting element um, so you'll have to manually turn that layer on and that's kind of it creates a little bit more work for yourself so just try to use a layer that's already turned on so I'm gonna hit choose layer and then I'm gonna go to um, so this is architectural lightings 3d I believe there's a 2d one somewhere in here so let's see um, let me let me just search light no ceiling light mm, oh I'll just put fixtures I guess I'll just use this one textual fixtures and then you can kind of see a preview of it here um, now you can change the way this preview looks if this works for you great if it doesn't work for you or it's not something that you like you can adjust it and now um, you, you can also change the lighting types here um, these may or may not adjust the floor plan view it looks like it's oh well it does adjust it I guess depending on which one you select um, but I'm just gonna keep this one and then I'm going to go to um, <clears throat> I'm going to change the, you, you can edit the dimensions here if you want to change the width and so forth or the thickness of it. Um, we want to make the contour pen black and then you can change the symbol type to uh, one of these here. So realistic doesn't seem to do anything. Um, electrical changes it to this symbol here with the text, which you can actually remove by just checking that. Um, but the most common one that I've seen used and the one that I use is this one. Um, and yeah, so and again here you can change the symbol size. Now um, we can also have we can choose to have text in there as well. I won't for the purposes of this. Um, and then we can see that the pen color has not actually been overwritten here. The contour pen is black, but over here the preview is showing red. So that's probably because it's being overridden by this uh, area here, the floor plan and section drop down menu. So we're just going to uncheck override. Uh, objects pens because checking that will basically override it with this pen so I'm just gonna uncheck it and then we can see that it's showing up black now and then we want to do we our ceiling is um, eight feet so eight feet from the first floor so I'll just hit eight feet there and then it'll place this at eight, eight feet and we can see that it shows up there um, I'm gonna also add another one here and maybe another one here for the dining area um, and then I'll add some for these bedrooms. So, and then the bathroom obviously needs one, so let's put one there. Um, and then for the for the outside, we'll worry about that later. But for now, that's uh, our lighting fixtures. Now, for the switches, I'm just going to go ahead and double tap this object tool. Or actually, yeah, let's double tap that. Um, and then you can see here, if you search switch, you'll get these different um, switches. Switch symbols. This, you can use whichever one you like, I guess, um, or whatever you're comfortable with, or you can make your own. In my case, I'm going to use um, this one, um, and then I'm going to override the contour pen with the black pen. And then if you have a three-way switch, you may want to display this text with number three. Um, but for most of ours, they're going to be just one-way switches, so I'm just going to uncheck that. And that's what our symbol is going to look like, so I'm going to hit OK, and then we're going to have this switch right there maybe we'll need another one by this door and then I don't know maybe let's say right there right there um, and then, I don't know let's let's say right here um, and then maybe maybe here um, and then <clears throat> some of these are gonna have to be three-way switches right and then this one maybe by this door this one will for sure need to be a three-way switch right so they can turn it on from here and here um, and then for this bedroom I, I'm aware I need to add a door there guys so don't uh, don't grill me on that um, so that's our switch those are our switches now to place the electrical wiring um, the way that I usually do it um, and by the way these switches I believe they're just 2d symbols so if you um, if you go in 3d view you probably will not see it um, because again I believe it's just a 2d symbol um, so anyway uh, we're going to use a spline tool to put in our electrical wiring. So let's go ahead and select the spline tool. Um, and then there's a couple different ways you can insert it. I'll just leave the default. And um, I'm going to change the pen color to gray. So I'm just going to hit 2 there to change it to gray. 
and then we're going to go to our line type we're going to make it dash line and you don't have to make it dash line you can just change the uh, pen color or pen type um, you know to whatever you want whatever you're comfortable with um, but this is what I tend to use so I'm gonna click once click twice and then you can see that it's kind of just it's automatically curving that um, that spline for us and then to just actually finalize this make sure you right click um, and then hit OK so right click and then hit OK um, and, then, and then it'll place it in there for us um, and then let's see so if you notice here it's showing us like this kind of like half arrow symbol um, on both sides um, and that's because if you select it you can tell that the arrow head is on both sides and it's set to this um, after these one of these attributes right um, and so to have none of those to have no arrowhead you're just gonna select this icon over here um, the very left and so that's going to put in that spline for us you can do that with all of the others as well and that should be good enough um, and then we, if we want to change these to three-way switches um, you can do that here so I'm gonna hold shift and then click tab once while I'm holding shift and then I can just toggle between the elements and then I'm going to make these um, command T to make these three-way switches by going to text on symbol I'm going to display it there and boom now another thing that's going to be useful um, for our electrical and um, not just our electrical legends but um, for our window and door schedules is if you adjust the object ID or the element ID in this case um, We'll, we'll go over it a little bit later, but uh, basically if you scroll all the way to the right, if you go to ID and properties, which you can also access this using Command-T or going to the settings by right-clicking. Um, let's say I want to specify that this is a three-way switch. I can just edit this ID and properties by writing three-way switch. Um, and then you, maybe you can say light switch, three-way light switch. And that text won't show up anywhere on the floor plan, but it will in the schedule. It'll be useful there anyway. Um, so I'll leave that for now. Um, but that's basically it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also just add in a landing here um, to our front porch because I realized that we didn't do that before. So if you just click on the slab tool, and then we're going to change the structure to something simple because it's just going to be concrete. And um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this corner over here. And then extending it. Let's make it a 5x5. Five five. So it's kind of a small porch porch sorry not the car it's a small porch um, not porch Porsche whatever the correct term is so um, anyway um, that's inserting it there now let's go ahead and go to um, show all in 3d so you, if you hit command f4 it'll take you there um, let's go ahead and go back so if you can uh, if you see it here um, we can see that it's basically at the same at the first floor level, right? It's a level with the first floor. Now the problem with this is in real life usually it's a little bit lower, so I'm just going to move this down by uh, changing the uh, reference plane height to minus I don't know, let's say two inches. So it'll be two inches below that door because you don't want any water. Well, usually you shouldn't really have water in there anyway, but this is kind of a small port porch, so they might have that problem. And then you can also adjust the thickness. Um, and the nice thing is if you, your reference plane is the top one, if you adjust the, th the thickness to, let's say, one foot, um, it'll just extend it downward instead of changing the reference plane. So that's kind of neat um, and useful. So um, that's basically it. Um, there's a couple other things that may need to be adjusted, like the roof. So I guess we can take care of that now. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping here. And then in the next video, um, we're going to go ahead and talk about our window and door schedules. Now, I can't see the um, floor plan, the first floor plan to, you know, reference the walls. So in order to do that right now, I'm going to go ahead and right click over here on the right hand sidebar. And then I'm going to go to um, show us trace reference. So right click and then hit show us trace reference. And then we're going to adjust these, um, this blue line to come out all the way to the outside of that wall and sometimes when you, you know, when you mess with your 3d model it'll adjust your dimensions right because we use these points as 
reference points for these dimensions. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so let me see. Yeah, it looks like we, um, there we go. There we go. So there's little changes here and there. Um, and then sometimes these might not adjust or, or actually, because this is a 2D element actually, so that's why it's not adjusting. So if I move that out, it'll adjust. And then let's see. So this is a measured value. Um, so that should adjust. Strange. Oh, I see. It did. The dimension didn't adjust, but the um, yeah, the the roof did, but the, the actual the dimension didn't. Um, so anyway, that's that's basically it, I think. Well, there's there's other minor adjustments you can do here, um, so that your eaves are all the same uh, width. So let's move that there. And that's basically it. I'm, I'm fine with this for now. Um, so that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, in the next video, like I said, we're going to go over the window and door schedules. And I'll also place in the doors there. Uh, but you, you guys can also do that. But I'll see you guys in the next one.